very good afternoon ma'am uh, first of all i'd like to extend a hearty welcome on behalf of college dunia thank you so much for sparing your valuable time towards the box on education thank you so much for having me uh, ma'am uh, throughout your career you've been associated with educational institutes how do you plan on using the immense knowledge and experience that you have gained over the years and uh, towards being an integral member of this institute Uh, well i think i have been associated with this institute for last 10 years and uh, our main goal is to uh, holistically develop a student it is development it is the overall development of student which is beneficial for them to develop them as a corporate uh, corporate material like so we want student to explore more into that particular part to talk about teaching and learning uh, we rely both on ancient as well as modern techniques which are good for students so basically we we focus more on project based learning also the practical learning which will help student to grow as a corporate leader or someone who works in corporate right ma'am uh, ma'am uh, what do you think would be the impact of you know the current covid-19 situation on the placements and the curriculum of the current academic year Uh, yes uh, well i must say uh, there is a huge impact of uh, this pandemic on placement like to uh, explain you uh, the small scale industries which are shut down right now they are not coming for placement uh, also the mncs which are coming for placement the percentage of recruitment is really reduced uh, but uh, i think on other point i must say uh, for every calamity there is a opportunity we have seen it has bloomed in this pandemic right even in earlier days infosys and tcs both have declared they have around 40000 vacancies for the freshers so i think if one door is closed uh, there are so many doors those are open so yes pandemic has affected on placement but i think this is not for long term this is for some short duration of time because i think uh, as soon as the market is open the industries have to get open so the placement there there has to be a placement of students as we need a manpower right ma'am now uh, what do you think are your roles and responsibilities to both the university as well as to the students mm-hmm. uh yes uh, being a teacher i think i play a vital role for both university and for student Uh, i am much aware about my students are going to be a engineer so they are the uh, youth of uh, youth and the future engineer of my nation right so because of that uh, i have a huge responsibility to nurture them uh, very wellly with knowledge and with overall all the characteristics right so i basically i may help them to find out their ways or to achieve their goals and i think for university point of view i may help for designing the great syllabus that will help students for more and more competitive uh, environment and uh, the knowledge based environment which is very appropriately uh, equipped with the industrial knowledge right right ma'am ma'am uh, can you elaborate on what are the different industry connect programs or events which are organized at kj college to give the students are uh, co- you know a taste of the corporate world uh yes uh, our college comes under pune university so uh, equip it is it has very thoroughly gone through the industries uh, industry flavor right it has already uh, much of industry flavor in addition to that we allow our student or we may uh, present our student more and more for the internship programs like for gensar for tcs for persistent because of that uh, at the end of the fourth year my students are very well skilled with the industry interaction and they know how industry works right so industry interaction we may increase with the internship program as well as we have industry interaction sale with us we have mous with different different industries so my students are much more aware about the industrial environment basically so it is uh, beneficial for them to actual work in industry in future right ma'am Ma'am, uh, can you throw some light about the diversity that the companies uh, come from the placements in KG College? Ah, uh, yes. So let me just tell you first. My students are most uh, engineer students, right? So for them, ah, uh, 
there are so many career choices for my students they may start their own self startup they may work for it they may work for the core electronics core electrical core civil core mechanical so i need a combination or a wide range of industry which will cover this all the sectors like so i allow every company to come to my college from startup towards up, up to the uh, mncs so wider the range of the companies higher is the possibilities my students getting justice with respect to their career choices so yes we allow every type of company to our campus right ma'am ma'am uh, today's corporate world is characterized by uh, high pressure and intense competition so how do you help your students to co- uh, cope with the competition being so high in the outside world yes the competition i think is really very high outside but i must say uh, you can tackle this competition only with your knowledge and your skill set for my student uh, we provide aptitude training from third year we provide soft skill technique from third year because of that my students are technically sound as well as now they are able to crack the aptitude as well as a, a soft skill exam right so now they are equipped with the proper skill set which will help them to crack the interview or any type of competition and the ma- very main thing that is re- uh, required for the competition is a confidence as well as your knowledge uh, higher is your knowledge higher are the possibilities that you can sustain in this competition so we focus uh, as i told you earlier we focus on more and more development of overall student right we are st- technically strong but also all together we try for the overall development as well so uh, after the four final year they are much able or much self sufficient for tackle the competition right ma'am ma'am uh, what are the various interventions and approaches that you bring in apart from the academic knowledge for the training of the students as i told you we have aptitude session we have innovation sale with us we have industry institute interaction sale with us we have a team particular team which will look after the soft skill of the student we have upsc sale with us so i think depending on the student's career choice we may provide them everything they want right ma'am um uh, what would you describe as the greatest strength of kj college or what and additionally what would you like students to know about kj college of engineering and management research that they might not already know uh well i personally believe education is like a meditation it is a procedure right the more you are closer to environment or a nature the better you add the meditation i will uh, say this with lot of proud that we have the largest campus in pune university we are associated with pune university uh, to talk technically i must say we have a university toppers from our college pune university toppers from last 3 years we are very well equipped with the infrastructure again i must tell you with proud uh, there are only few colleges in pune uh, those have the following labs like steam power plant uh, the heat transfer lab high voltage lab next uh, universal equipment tool so we have we are very well equipped with those instruments we have good food at campus we have huge ground at our campus we have huge auditorium at our campus so basically we have everything that is need of uh, today's need uh, need of today's education we have everything plus last but not the least we have very balanced ratio of the uh, faculty we have experience we have new faculties we have researchers over there so yes it is perfect combination for engineering i think so ma'am uh, what are some of the biggest challenges that you see for both the higher education sector in general and for kjcoemr specifically uh well in that case i must tell you that the social media has the greatest influence on on students right now right so everyone want the instant things uh, the success they want is also instant but as i told you teaching is a process and learning is a process it may take some time right it may take concentration it may take your hard work but the things going on social media let uh, let student think that there is everything that is instant i think the major problem we are facing right now for higher education is a 
lack of concentration of student uh, lack of equipped colleges or laboratories we must say or uh, lack of good quality of teachers over there plus a counseling of student we are very lagging in that case the counseling of student uh the students which are in 11th or 10th or 12th they don't know right now what is their direction what is their uh, which are the career options open for them right so there must be included a career guidance lectures at the level of yes at 11th and 12th so that they may get more serious about their right ma'am ma'am uh, before we uh, wind up this interview uh, would there be any valuable piece of advice that you would like to give it to students you know for them to have a prosperous a prosperous career ahead my <laughs> yes it is simple i think there is no substitution for hard work you have to dream you have to plan the things you have to act according to it you have to achieve what you want but yes uh, there must be a hard work and this is the right time that you can do your hard work and you can achieve your goals in life right it is really simple just keep trying uh, be honest to your work your goals your uh, studies everything just be honest and just go for it absolutely wonderful ma'am and once again thank you so much for sparing your valuable time towards this initiative i'm sure uh, that the thoughts you've shared today on this platform could be found deeply meaningful and insightful for students past present and future thank you so much thank you so much yeah